I do like the uh, the kind of approach that, that we have because it's generated by the industry. And so it, it focuses on job roles, focuses on job skills, rather than uh, any particular impl vendor implementation. So I like that. The other thing that I noticed, though, is that because technology, you know, any good perspective on technology is always interested in embracing the next cool thing, uh, whether that next cool thing be blockchain, which is what it fell into the Gartner's trough of disillusionment here, uh, you know, a few months ago, but it, it'll, it'll fall out, come back out of that and eventually be considered useful again. We've I've seen technologies over the last 20, 30 years, you know, go through this cycle where initially it's going to solve everything and then, oh, it's useless, who cares? And then it actually gets used. I've seen Linux go through that. I even saw a lot of web technologies go through that cycle, uh, uh, many other things. The reason I bring up that kind of cycle is that it's as technology kind of keeps, you know, doing new and cool things, uh, it's, it's then logical to assume, at least on some level, or it seems logical, okay, whatever is the next big thing is going to solve our problem. And, and you especially find that in the security world, like the next big tool, like a, a SIM, a security information event monitor, event management, uh, you know, kinds of tools, for example, that that's going to be the next big thing. Or automation and orchestration and security, they call it SOAR, S-O-A-R. That's the next big thing. And so, well, where's your, you know, where's your cert on S-O-A-R, on SOAR? Where's that, James, or whatever? I really believe that uh, it's less of a legitimate approach, actually. What you find is that as people have finally started really moving to the cloud, uh, we've been talking about the cloud for, gosh, 10 years, but it's only been the last three to five years, I'd say three years, that real migration has been happening and real movement has been happening. And so in some ways, the cloud is actually still new to people because they're, they're, they're taking their old enterprise installed stuff and moving it uh, you know, virtually to the cloud. So that actually remains a new thing, even though we've been talking about it for 10 years or more. So I'm a big fan of starting with the basics and working your way up. And by basics, I don't mean, you know, here a little uh, Jane, here a little Johnny, here's what a database is. You know, we don't have to go that basic, okay? Uh, but you do have to know your foundations. And what we find is that uh, at CompTIA, in talking to implementers, they, they are often kind of shocked by students who come in out of the schools, uh, by people who come to them who are supposed to have lots of experience, and they have such huge gaps in their knowledge. And they have not, as they've stampeded into a vendor's solution, as they've stampeded into security, or I want to learn the cloud, I'm Mr. Cloud, or I'm Mrs. Cloud, uh, and then suddenly they realize they really don't understand how endpoints work in the first place. By endpoints, I'm, you know, from IoT to you know, what a workstation does. If you don't know the basics of workstations, of how they communicate, ARP and, and all that, you, you can't virtualize those things properly. You can't troubleshoot them. So I'm a big fan of getting the foundations. Uh, my dad always used to quote it's a, an old movie called The Music Man. It's uh, one of those, you know, corny, fun uh, musicals, real popular in the, what, the 50s? And there was a guy there who was always yelling, you got to know the territory. Oh, well, the reason I say that is because there, I hear in various forms a lot of CISOs, a lot of hiring managers and IT folks who basically say a lot of workers come to them, whether they're young or old, and they don't know the territory. They don't understand a lot of the basics of endpoints, of networking, of IPv6, even IPv4. You got to have that stuff. And when you have those little gaps, those little gaps become large gaping holes later on once you start implementing. And uh, so rather than focusing on that next cool thing, get to know your basics do hands-on stuff, start experimenting with important technologies, the like PKI, for example, private keys, public keys, start messing around with two-factor authentication, either up in AWS or Azure or in your Linux system as you can, you know, communicate back and forth. If you have those kinds of basics and fundamentals, you will do well in the future, no matter what new technology gets thrown at you.